Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class, it's all about the square of binomial. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we do have three procedures in the square of binomial. First, you square the first term. Second, multiply the first term and second term times 2. Then third, square the last term. So if you remember this procedure, you can just simply answer this one for numbers 1 to 5 easily by just making this procedure. Now let's answer number 1 class, x plus 4 quantity squared. Of course, we know that x plus 4 quantity squared, we can write this one as x plus 4 times x plus 4, right? Because squared plus it means you multiply this equation by itself twice. So x plus 4 times x plus 4. Now if we do the FOIL method, you still remember the FOIL method? First, outer, inner, last. Let's do the FOIL method class and then later on, we do the square of binomial. Let's check if they have the same answer. So first, x times x, so this one, x times x, that would be x squared. Then outer, x times positive 4, that would be positive 4x. Then inner, 4 times x, positive 4 times x, that's positive 4x. And then last, positive 4 times positive 4, that's positive 16. Alright, and then you can combine like terms. Combine this one. So copy x squared. Then 4x plus 4x. So add the number. 4 plus 4, that's 8. Then simply copy the variable x. x then plus 16. So this is the answer class in doing the FOIL method with regards to this equation. Now let's do the square of binomial class. And you will be amazed because it's, it is a very easy class with regards to the square of binomial. So let's try x plus 4 quantity squared. So first, you square the first term. So square the first term, so that would be x squared. And x times x, that would be, okay, let me just write it here. Square the first term, that would be x squared. x times x is x squared plus. And then, multiply the first term and second term. So multiply this one. x times 4, that is 4x, times 2. Times 2, that would be 8x, right? Or you can write this one class as multiply the first term and second term. So x times 4 times 2. So multiply the first term and second term. x times 4 times 2. Then you multiply this one x times 4. That's 4x times 2. That would be 8x. Easy, right? And then last square the last term. So square this one. Square the last term. 4 squared. So that would be 4 squared plus. It doesn't mean 4 times 2. It means 4 times 4. And this will be 16. That's it. Plus easy, right? For number 1. So you square the first term. Then you multiply the first term and second term. So x times 4, that's 4. Times 2, 4 times 2, that's 8x. x times 4 is 4x. Times 2, that would be 8x. Then you square the last term. 4 times 4, that is 16. Alright, so easy for number 1. So let's try number 2, class. So x minus 5 quantity squared. So once again, first, you square the first term. So x squared. Then second, multiply the first term and second term. So that would be 5, and oh no, sorry, x times 5. x times negative 5. This is negative 5. x times negative 5 times 2. And then you square the last term. Number 3, square the last term. So negative 5 squared. Alright, so our answer will be Square the first term, x times x, that would be x squared. Then multiply the first term and second term. x times negative 5, that's negative 5x, times 2, that's negative 10x. Then square the last term, negative 5 times negative 5. Once again, class, negative times negative is positive. Negative 5 times negative 5, that's positive 25. And that's it, class. Easy, right? For the square of binomial. So let's try number 3. So 3x... Minus 5, quantity squared. So first, you square the first term. So the first term is 3x. So 3x, then squared. Then, multiply the first term and second term. Okay, times 2. So multiply the first term and second term. So 3x times negative 5. Second term is negative 5. Times 2. So this is the equation class. Multiply the first term and second term. So 3x times negative 5 times 2. Alright. And then square the last term. 
So, 5, negative 5, then squared. So, this will be the answer class. 3x, 3x, then you square it. 3x times 3x. So, 3x times 3x. So, that will be 3 times 3 is 9. x times x is x squared. So, 9x squared. Alright, and then this one. 3x times negative 5. So, 3x times negative 5. That's negative 15x. So, 3x times negative 5, negative 15x times 2. That's negative 30x. Once again, class, negative times positive is negative. So, 3x times negative 5, that's negative 15x times 2, that's negative 30x. And then square the last term, negative 5 times negative 5, that's positive 25. There you have it, class. Number 3. Easy, right, for number 3? Let's try number 4, class, and then you try number 5, class. Alright, let me raise this one. I hope you get this one, class. Alright, let's try number 4, and then you try to answer number 5 class, and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let's check if you really understand the topic. So, 4x plus 9 squared. So, once again, first, you square the first term. So, 4x, then squared. Then, multiply the first term and second term times 2. So, 4x. So, multiply the first term and second term. So, 4x times 9. And then, times 2, times 2. And then you square the last term. So square the last term. So 9 then squared. So this will be 4x squared. Okay, 4x squared. So that would be 4x times 4x. So 4 times 4 is 16. x times x is x squared. So that would be 16x squared. Alright, so 4x times 9. That's 36x. Okay, 4x times 9, that's 36x plus times 2, sorry, times 2. 36 times 2, that would be 72x plus positive plus. 4x times 9, 4x times 9, that's positive 36x times 2, that's positive 72x. Alright, and then square the last term, 9 times 9, that would be 81. And this will be your answer class for number 4. Easy, right? Alright, so square the first term, then multiply the first term and second term times 2. So 4x four, four times 9, that's 36. Times 2, that's 72x. And then square the last term, 9 times 9, that is 81. Alright, so that's it, class. That's how you do the square of binomial. So you try to answer number 5, class, and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let's check if you really understand the topic for the square of binomial. So once again, for the square binomial, you square the first term, then you multiply the first term and second term times 2, then you square the last term, and then you get the answer. Alright, so once again, if you learned something new today, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share to your classmates class so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye.